Number 15, last question. Here we have x over x plus 2 plus 2 over x minus 2. We are adding algebra fractions, and to add fractions, we first have to make sure if the denominators are the same or not. But then unfortunately, they are not the same here. Therefore, we have to look for the lowest common denominator first. And to do that, we look at the denominators and try to factor them out. But then for the first one, we just have x plus 2. We cannot factor that. So this is the factor by itself. Likewise, for the second one, we have x minus 2. We also cannot factor that. So this is also a factor by itself. Because they have no common factor, for the lowest common denominator, we just multiply them together. So we have x plus 2 times x minus 2. And the idea is, we want to look at both fractions and change them so that they all have the lowest common denominator. And let me write this down. For the first one, I want to write it down as something on the top over that for the denominator, x plus 2 times x minus 2. And then we add it with the second one, something on the top, over this for the denominator, x plus 2 times x minus 2. And we just have to figure out what do we need to multiply for the first fraction and also the second fraction to achieve this. For the first fraction, originally the denominator is x plus 2, but I need to have another x minus 2. Therefore, we are going to multiply on the bottom by x minus 2. We also have to do the same on the top. So we multiply x by x minus 2. And in this case, we are going to multiply out the top. So we distribute the x into the parentheses, x times x, that will give us x squared, x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. So that's how we achieve for the first fraction, change the fraction so that it has the LCD. For the second one, the denominator was x minus 2, but I need to have this, x plus 2. So I'm going to multiply by x plus 2 on the bottom and also on the top. And then I'm going to distribute the path d2 into the parentheses. Path d2 times x, that will give us path d2x. And then path d2 times 2, that will give us path d4. So now we are ready to add. Just the top though. The denominator will stay the same. We'll just put down x plus 2 times x minus 2, and then we'll combine terms on the top. Here we have x squared, but there's nothing else that has x squared. So we just put down the x squared, but then for the minus 2x, here we have the plus the 2x. They cancel out. At the end, we have the plus the 4, so we just put down plus 4. That's pretty much it. x squared plus 4 over x plus 2 times x minus 2. However, this is not one of the answer choices because what it is, they just multiply out the denominator. That's all. So we'll do that. x times x will give us x squared, x times negative 2, that's minus 2x, and then plus d2 times x, that's plus 2x, and then plus d2 times negative 2, that's minus 4. And as we can see, the minus 2x plus 2x, they cancel. So at the end, on the numerator, we have x squared plus 4 over the denominator is x squared minus 4. So this is the final result that they have in answer choice C. That's it. So this is it. This completes all the simple questions for the Intermediate Algebra Assessment Test at Pierce College. Good luck on the actual test. This right here is 0 0.5.